Dominic Talbot Tassi joins us on Panthers TV with Jeremiah's Chimney Systems. And Dominic, you've been in Nottingham for a couple of days now, skated twice with your teammates. How is everything? It's unreal, unbelievable. Uh, getting uh, getting to play my favorite sport again, meeting some new brothers, uh, being in a beautiful city. It's just everything is perfect so far. And if you had to pinpoint one thing that you've missed the most, because obviously you've been out of the game for a year at this point, what was it? Has it been being around the boys? Is it is it the game itself? Is it a mixture of everything? Which is it? <laughs> well, it's difficult to to pinpoint one, but I. You said it. I think it was being with the boys, being with a bunch of brothers uh, and playing the game, obviously. But I, I think it's like the atmosphere and like having each other's back. And I, I can't wait to play games with these guys. And as we were talking about a few minutes ago, this this whole tournament came around very quickly. Can you just take us inside what your conversations with director of hockey, Guy Doucette, were that led to you signing up for this tournament? <sighs> Well, Deuce called me. He's like, uh, hey, Dom, uh, have you heard about this uh, tournament? To be quite honest, no. He's like, uh, are you inter interested in playing hockey? Well, obviously. Are you ready? Uh, not so much. But I can compete. And I'll show up at every, at every game, that's for sure. He said, okay, well, uh, I'll get back to you. The next day, okay, we're, uh, we're going to sign you. Okay. And when am I flying? Oh, this Friday. Uh, okay. So like everything came so fast and um, here I am and we're playing on Thursday. So. And I imagine you and Guy could have a lot of fun conversations because you obviously both went to McGill University. Yeah. Well, I was actually surprised. I, I heard about him uh, a few years earlier. Uh, some guys on my team told me, hey, uh, there's uh, that one guy that's uh, the uh, GM there in uh, Nottingham, and uh, he's always interested in signing McGill guys. But the problem with some McGill guys is that they go work afterwards and they kind of quit their hockey career. And then it always stayed in my mind. And then when he called me, I, I just kind of didn't believe it. I thought he was going to ask for somebody else. Like, have you got this guy's number <laughs> yeah and i was like yeah whatever and then he was asking about me so i was really honored and uh kind of it's, it's good to have some uh, miguel alumni like that but like close and it's his way to give back kind of and as you said a moment ago to me that this tournament feels very special and it's very unique there's not a lot of other hockey going on around there's gonna be a lot of eyes on this tournament so there's gonna be a lot of pressure for guys to perform isn't there yeah but as far as I know, we're playing the game we love. We're doing uh, our best. Uh, as long as you show up and you work hard, I think everything's going to be just fine. And uh, like, obviously, the first few games will be uh, tough for everybody. You know, execution, the compete level. Well, compete level is going to be high for sure. But like execution, uh, hands are a little tight. Uh, legs are a little heavy. Uh, but I'm here to compete. I'm here. Uh, we're all here to win, but I want to win more, maybe. And that's the thing is, like, everyone's here to win. But also, because of how this tournament is, it's kind of a showcase for a lot of guys as well. Yeah, definitely. And the thing is that we haven't had, well, most haven't had the opportunity to play this year and to kind of prove themselves. And, like, a guy like me, and I know some other guys on the team uh, back from Quebec as well, uh, they kind of graduated from college and they were ready to, to, to start their pro career. But because of that situation, we couldn't. So now this is like the perfect showcase for us to prove what we were uh, able of doing on the ice and kind of for the next uh, few seasons. Now, the one unfortunate thing is that this whole tournament starts off against Sheffield, which would normally be have a crowd of about seven and a half thousand yeah. in that building you've been training. Now you won't get to experience that, but as you were telling me a minute ago, that's not going to take away from any of the intensity on the ice, is it? Oh no, absolutely not. There's only there's one goal in sports, and it's to win. So no matter what, fans or no fans, we to be honest, we know that we have the support from the fans, even though they're not at the arena. So that's huge. But we don't need that much motivation when, when it comes to sport. 
the only motivation we we need is we want to win and that's all that matters and like you said they're not in the stands but you can feel that support on the likes of social media and things can't you oh yeah nowadays with social media it feels like they're right on a behind our back and they're they're they're, they're kind of supporting us and like they're watching us we know that and it it uh it means a lot actually and yeah so they i know they also want to be in there uh but we know that that everyone everybody is supporting us and that's uh that, that that's huge for us and it's obviously been a bit of a, a crazy a crazy year to say the least just getting back to the ring, getting back to hockey, does it, is, it, is it starting to feel a bit more normal for you at the moment, apart from being, obviously being stuck in a hotel room? <laughs> yeah, it's not far from normal. Uh, the only thing is that, like, we need to be careful with everything. Like, wash your hands, wear a mask. Uh, you can't be uh, two guys at the same time. And it's just, like, all sort of rules. But when you get on the ice, there are no rules. Well, some rules, but, like... You know what I mean? Like, uh, not like, like we're, we're used to those rules on ice. So that's, that's fine. As long as we play hockey. And you've had two sessions in, under head coach, Tim Wallace, who is, yeah. he, he's a, I always call him a hockey nerd. He loves his little details and all his plays. And his, how have you found working with him so far? I actually love it. Uh, like I've had, I was lucky enough that every single of my coaches were, were unreal and were unbelievable and he's one of them already and uh like in so i've practiced with him for for only uh, two days and he's already came up to me and like giving me some advice and uh yeah yeah he's a professional uh he's super cool uh i feel absolutely no pressure and yeah he's he's really great it's one of when then when you look into his CV where he's played the level that Tim has played at, it's hard not to respect him as well as him, him being a cool guy. Yeah, actually, like, I'm not one of those, like, guys that is going to, like, look you up and stuff. So I didn't even know he played, like, that high. But I was still respecting him because he's my coach, right? But then I looked at him. I was like, holy, okay, that guy can play. Like, He's a good coach, but he can actually play hockey. <laughs> so yeah, it's impressive, and uh, it, it kind of shows too, like the way he 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 uh, teaches the game and the, the, the small details that he no, notices, and yeah, it, it tells a lot about the guy. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite questions to ask is that you're going to be wearing number thirteen while you're here with the Panthers. Why do you pick number thirteen? Thirteen has always been my lucky number. I have it tattooed on my wrist uh it's just it comes from my family uh my italian family 13 is a lucky number uh i wore number 27 uh at mcgill i had a good career at mcgill so i was kind of like i didn't know what to pick 13 or 27 but i went back to my uh lucky number and hopefully it's gonna it's gonna be a, a, the right decision for me <laughs> And then if you had to give a, a scouting report on yourself, what would the scouting report on Dominic Talbot Tassi be? Well, that's tough. I like to give scouting report on other players, <laughs> but kind of about myself. I think I'm a good skater. Uh, I see the ice really well. I've, I've got a pretty good vision. Uh, I like to pass the puck, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, I, I like to kind of control the game uh, and, yeah, make plays and compete uh, i'm here to compete and i'm not a big guy i'm not one of those d men that but i i'm gonna block any shot that's going in and i'm gonna do everything in, in my uh power to to win the game well if people weren't excited to see you on the ice before this after seeing your energy in this interview and what you said i'm sure people can be very excited to see you on the ice after so thanks for joining us dominic oh thank you so much